Libra, hello, my darlings. Welcome to your June reading. I am using the Divine Animals Oracle to pull an overriding mess message for you, followed by the Animal Apothecary deck, followed by my Animal Tarot. And we shall see what messages wish to come out for you today, this beautiful day in England. Um, before I start, thank you as ever for your likes, for your comments, lovely comments, for those of you who have subscribed to this channel. And if this reading resonates, uh, or I resonate with you. Thank you for liking this video, my darling. So let's move ahead with the reading and let's see what wishes to come out for you. For those that most need to hear it, for Libra, for June. Thank you, Spirit. Let me go, that wants to come out. Ooh, the links, Secrets has wanted to come out. Thank you, Spirit. Um, the links for me always represents the moon. Um, and thank you. So there are things yet unknown for you. And Spirit wants you to rest in the space of the unknown. Be content with not knowing at this time. Sometimes we're on such a quest to find an answer that it can be very dissatisfying to not know something just yet. But yet there is a contentedness when we rest in the assurance that we will discover, we will find out, we will be told, uh, a, a, a truth will be um, installed within us, it will be told to us at exactly the right time for us when we can take the appropriate emotional action with that truth as the foundation. Because if you don't yet know something, it's very simply that you're not ready for it yet. And there are many different levels of being ready. We may feel that we're ready on a conscious level, but actually on an emotional level, we may not be ready for that particular action that comes from the reflection or the consideration or the response to that truth. The other thing I'm feeling with this is with the links and the moon card and secrets is there are some things better not told as well at the moment be content perhaps in the knowing of something but be content not to spread the word because if you were to engage in conversations and dialogues regarding something that you may know at this time then there will be a ripple effect as a consequence of that discussion. So be very discerning about who you may be talking to at this time. And there is great strength and courage from perhaps knowing so much and doing so little. And like the links, quietly observing in a very contented way what is unfolding in front of you so there are two aspects there with that use your intuition and choose uh wisely who you might have conversations with bearing in mind as well that when we talk our subconscious which has no sense of humor thinks we're talking about ourselves so perhaps if something you wish and desire to say is of um in judgment of another then your subconscious will think, will feel, uh, will resound with the fact that you are talking about yourself. So you may therefore attract what you are in judgment of. So um, anyway, let's move ahead. And that's number two here. So two is about making very wise, balanced choices or firm decisions, something that's very firmly rooted within you. So let's have a look to see what the animal apothecary deck says for you. Thank you. Thank you for Libra. Be all ears, they're saying, by the way. They're saying be all ears, be all, be all ears, but be relaxed. Be relaxed with your perhaps your independent thought at this time on something and perhaps sharing your views may not be in your best interests. Um, particularly when we have a heightened sense of awareness of things, 
sometimes others are just not in that place to receive that info information from us they're not able to uh, receive the transfer of information they're not able to transform their views from what we have said because they're not on the same radar they're not on the same radio wavelength as us so just be all ears but be relaxed about uh who you might share that insight with and as the moon you're very insightful on something so let's see what else um wishes to come out with regards to this thank you spirit what else from this day I love this day. It's um, very cute, very different. And I am in tune with it at the moment. Thank you, Spirit. What have we got? We have got it's in you. Thank you. Okay, so. It's in you. Everything that you feel that you need and want is already there within you. Everything that you, the answers that you are perhaps seeking, the way forward that you're looking for, it's all within you. The lion, which has such an extraordinary analogy for us in terms of courage and strength and beauty and protectiveness and loyalty and fierceness the lion doesn't know it's within it the lion doesn't know that it is as divine as we are it simply acts in the present moment at all times using all of its senses and instinctively and intuitively responds to any situation and that is what spirit is asking you to do to not overthink anything at this time the lion never overthinks no animals overthink um and my goodness shouldn't we learn from animals more you know this lion is not going to go to sleep at night over worrying and overthinking about perhaps some prey that he didn't get He's always in the present moment. And that is why nature is such an extraordinary teacher for us and why we cause ourselves so much suffering from the overthinking about any situation that we are presented with that is not in line with our feelings of, oh, this is going rather well, this is good, or oh, I'm happy. Um, and so that is why. Actually, when we suffer, it's because we're not in alignment with the spiritual laws of the universe. Nature is always in alignment with the spiritual laws of the universe. But there is something that you're being asked with this line representing strength to just use your intuition again. See, it's centered around here. It's almost like a little three leaf clover here. And that follow that heart space okay however fearful that may be follow what your heart what your feelings are telling you at this time it's in you the answer's there the direction is there for you and with the lion it's about perhaps withdrawing from a dialogue or a, um, an environment or an experience or a person situation being in situ with something that uh, you might, with your mind space, engage with, but actually with the heart space, you know it's not good for you. You know that intuitively it's not the right thing uh, to do. But there is something new for you coming in with regards love. Do you see the the, the moon up here and uh, the little green heart here? So, and this says number twenty four again. It's about making decisions that are that are for your stability, nobody else's, for your stability. What does that mean, stability? It means understanding you're living in an energetic structure that is balanced, that is stable, that is growing, that is expanded. So, and two and four is six, and six is harmony, my darling. So you've got here almost two 
cats here. And with all of these big cats, there is that sort of cat mentality as well about a certain sense of independence, a well, a strong sense of independence, a strong sense of being choosy, a strong sense of um, also making your presence known when it is important to do so, but with, with, withdrawing, retreating into the shadows when it is not. So it's in you. And there is something very soon with these secrets as well that you shall be told. And there is something that you shall be told in perfect divine design. So let's have a look to see what wishes to come out for you from this. I'm, I'm getting the word frustration uh, from, from the energy of these cards as well in terms of these cats never get frustrated. They act on impulse and or they don't. So they're either doing on impulse or they're being. And frustration um, comes from being upset or annoyed or unable to change something or affect some, some outcome for yourself or ourselves. So it is about trying to release, surrender that frustration to the acceptance of the now, blessing the present, blessing the now, being in the now, but being very, very observant. I mean, those cats, those big cats or any cat is constantly on high alert. Being all ears is what spirit is saying. So I feel you're going to receive audibly you're going to hear something and it's going to be of utmost importance for you. And I feel it's going to come through you, through your intuition. So let's see what wishes to come out for you with regards to these cards with the animal tarot. Thank you. I saw the peacock there. Ooh, hello. The lovers has come out for you. So this could be with regards a relationship that is one that we consider love you know romantic love partnership love marriage um long lasting commitment it can also be an energy that is of your soul family of the same magnetic attraction that you're giving out you are receiving and the lovers talks about a relationship that is of utmost importance for you now Whoever you're thinking of at this time, if this reading has resonated with you so far, that is the energy that is represented in this card for you. Whether this is soul family, that loved one, family itself by blood, friendships that you consider that you truly love and truly care for somebody. And when we When we truly love others, it is, you know, it's very, as humans, we can dissect love and we can look at love and we can understand love or not understand love. But really, love in its truest, truest form is nature. Love in its truest form is divine. It's unselfish. It's unneeding. It's unwanting. It loves. It blesses. It is no need of anything in return. And I feel that the um, experience that you're going through at this time with regards love is to demonstrate to you that you are love. We are all love, that energy of love. When we feel we are giving love to somebody else, we're actually experiencing the feeling of being love. So let me move on to see a little bit more about this lover's card. Thank you, Spirit. Tell me more. Thank you. The Emperor. So feel that you're being asked now, however, despite you may feel about a particular relationship, you're being asked to lead by example. You're being asked to... Um, show by example however small and insignificant you may feel in relation to this relationship 
that I feel is very, very, very important to you, you have prepared for it. You have prepared for it. You've had your ears to the ground. You have, um, and I feel this is why it's very important that you are relaxed about what you don't yet know yet. So I feel that there is an energy with you. You're very aware of it, of someone that is very important to you. And you have prepared. Now Spirit is saying, despite how insecure you may be feeling, take the leadership role in this relationship. Lead by example. Show by example. Expect no thing in return. Bless them for who they are, for what you love about them, and watch any issues in this relationship transform into something else. Don't go, it's not about rushing in and making great big statements of declarations about love. It's about being authentically you, being love, and not forecasting any outcome. We can't forecast the weather, can we? We certainly can't forecast um, what's going to happen for us. But we do have a sense from our feelings. And Spirit is asking you to take a handle on this now. It's got real potential, this relationship. Do you see here with the acorns? Out of essential truth, great expansion grows. And there is a blueprint within this relationship, just like the acorn to the oak, that has um, a huge capacity for long lasting commitment and growth and stability for you. And you can package it up and ribbon it up however much you want to now, but you're ready for it. And the blueberries are to say it's very healing. It's a very healing energy for you as well. But take the lead on this in a way that is not pulling, but you are confident, your shoulders are back. You are knowing that you have attracted in who you are. And if you are showing great love and you are showing the characteristics of the lion and the lynx, then this love you have attracted in is worthy of you and you are worthy of it. Don't lose sight of yourself. The mouse is incredibly courageous to do what the mouse does in a pretty big, scary world. And you have done an amazing job in preparing for whatever this relationship is that's coming in for you, my darling. Uh, anything else on these lovers? Thank you. So you've got the three of spring. So in terms of taking this leadership role, this is also about not rushing, as I said, because the emperor sometimes has a tendency to rush and you don't need to know everything about this relationship, just like the emperor doesn't know everything in his kingdom. But he has a sense and he leads by example. This card with the three of spring, the three of wands, says that a leisurely, relaxed approach now with you taking on a role of a, a nurturing role, a guiding role, and a role that is at ease with the ups and downs of what this relationship will bring you. Because relationships are our greatest teacher. Love is our greatest teacher. Love is on the spectrum of the other end of love is hate. And it is through experiences of love that we learn. Sometimes it's very difficult to uh, love someone because of what we're asked to do because we love someone. Sometimes it's difficult to love when we are not, we are perhaps seeing love 
from a need as opposed to a desire to give. And all of these things we've all gone through in various relationships in our lives. But this relationship with this is to say that there is a wonderful um, energy that you have manifested. You have created this relationship in your life. And the sea turtle is like the sea turtle lays the eggs and then allows those little baby turtles to make their own way. You have created now with this three, uh, a, 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 a place, an energy field of growth for yourself. And this is a time to take stock, to take recognition of everything that has um, resulted in your life so far. And this now, just like the three of pentacles, is for you to recognize that this relationship has very long-term success if you allow it to evolve naturally um, and you play that part for yourself where you recognize that this relationship is divine and that you are divinity and they are divinity and you have attracted each other to each other. But do, just like this, ebbs and flow, have some patience going forward. Last card, please. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, don't, don't see, um, what is this? The manate. Um, This is the five, five of pentacles. <laughs> do, and then you've got the five of cups here. Two fives make ten. Try not to feel a lack in this. Well, actually, do you know what? If you are feeling a lack of something at this time, it's about prioritizing your attention to, to where that lack is coming from. Again, I come back to the lynx and the lion. There is something you don't yet know. There is also something that you do know that you wish to impart perhaps to others. There is great insight that you have, but I feel that the heaviness in your emotions is coming from feeling a frustration about perhaps how this relationship is flowing for you. I'm gonna finish off with one more card, thank you. And the Five of Cups has come out. So that was the card that was there before. Now is the time, my darling, to understand with the dragonfly here that the universe is always here. It's always listening. We are simply an individual individualization of the universe and everything is um, unfolding for you. The dragonfly represents within the change that's happening with regards things you don't yet know, this relationship. Be curious about the change. Be curious about why. What is it that perhaps in this five of pentacles or in the words that you have perhaps been expressing and then at the time knowing that actually, mm, I don't know if I should have said that. What is it that you have been on hot dial with the universe about because the universe is responding to your intent to your wishes to your words so think about now be curious about what is manifesting right now but you can take a beautiful control and response to this right now as the emperor you are prepared for it it is a transformational time for you Take the lead on this. Don't feel that you're ineffectual in this at all. This is your universe. You are affecting it. There is, this is the law of cause and effect. So take the lead on not only how you are being, but also take the lead on your own thoughts and words and actions and start to step into that powerful emperor role of both listening with all ears, being intently listening 
to what advice perhaps you are receiving from your wise counsel through your intuition to perhaps what your feelings are telling you about this and are your actions aligning with those feelings? Because you can shift and change your future energetic structure to one of everything coming towards you that you understand is reflecting your current state of play, your current state of energy. And it can be very, very sweet. And this is the five of cups. There is two cups in that five of cups card. And perhaps your concerns and your frustration and your worry about what is not happening is blocking you from seeing what is happening within this beautiful relationship. Whatever frustrations you may be feeling about it or for yourself, pushing through trying to force things to happen is going to have the reverse effect. Bless them, bless yourself. What you bless rests, what you resist persists. And so try and surrender for your frustration because that is only presenting you, it doesn't open the doors to anything that you are desiring, the resistance of the present situation. So I trust that makes sense for you, but this is a, I, I come back to this, the flamingo. There is within this, you know, love, can be very scary when we see it through the eyes of a human being. We fall in love. It's interesting, it's a falling, isn't it? To let go, to release. Oh my God, how courageous is that? To trust in another. And you've got here the jungle here, which is both scary and exciting, and you don't know what's around the next corner, but it's all natural and it's all found a way. So that's what spirit is saying. Everything is coming towards you. You don't have to seek and search for the next stage now. And you can choose to be in balance with this relationship and with who you are and with who they are. If you choose simply now to love, to bless, and that includes you, my darling, because you so deserve this. So, um, I trust that has helped those that have resonated with this reading. I look forward, my darlings, to doing another one for you um, soon. But in the meantime, uh, the weekly readings, you have new ones next week. You've got the dailies and the summer reading is also available for you. So much love, my darling, and take care. Bye bye.